In this session, we'll guide you through the process of setting up BitLocker, a full disk encryption tool developed by Microsoft to protect your sensitive data. With the increasing risk of cyber attacks, it's essential to take extra measures to protect your sensitive data. And BitLocker can provide that extra added layer of protection you need. By the end of this demo, you'll have the knowledge and skills to implement BitLocker using Intune. To get started, log into your Microsoft 365 tenant and navigate to endpoint.microsoft.com. Then select Devices and Configuration Profiles. Then click on Create Profile. Under Platform, we'll select Windows 10 and later. And under Profile Type, we'll select Templates. Then we'll select Endpoint Protection and click Create. Next, we'll give it a descriptive name and for this example, I'll be using Endpoint Protection dash BitLocker. In the description, I'll be adding the following. Encrypt all Windows 10 and later devices with BitLocker drive encryption and select Next. Then, we'll click on Windows Encryption and select the following options. Please note that for this demo, I will not be going into detail with the reasons for choosing the specific settings. However, if you would like to learn more, you can hover over the information tab to get a brief understanding of what it is used for. In the window settings, we'll select require next to encrypt devices. Then select block next to warning for other disk encryption. Next, we'll select allow standard users to enable encryption during Azure AD join and enable for configure encryption methods. We'll leave the encryption method standard for the operating system fixed data drives and removable data drives. Then, We'll select require next to additional authentication at startup and block at bootlocker with non-compatible TPM chip. Next, under compatible TPM startup, we'll select require TPM and under compatible TPM startup pin, we'll select do not allow startup pin with TPM. Under compatible TPM startup key, We'll select do not allow startup key with TPM. And under compatible TPM startup key and pin, we'll select do not allow startup key and pin with TPM. Then we'll select enable next to the OS recovery drive. Then we'll leave the certificate based data recovery agent, user creation of recovery password and user creation of recovery key standard and head over to recovery options in the BitLocker setup wizard and select lock then click on enable to save the BitLocker recovery information to Azure Active Directory next we'll click on require under the store recovery information in Azure Active Directory before enabling BitLocker and enable the pre-boot recovery URL then select next next we'll select the included groups you can either select all the users all the devices or a custom group in my case, I've created a custom group which I'll be adding for this demo. And select next. Select next again. And create to confirm. 